everybody it's release day i am so excited i posted a thing yesterday that i think i'm more excited to release encampment than i have been for either of my other two books and so i don't know if that's everybody just each new one you do you're more excited um or if eventually that will fade <laughs> so if you've posted or published more than one book. I would love to hear that. Um, if you're an author, let me know in the comments, were you as excited for your third, fifth, tenth book as you were for your first? Were you more excited? Um, did it kind of like plateau at some point? I would love to know. So let me know in the comments down below. Today, this video is going to be talking a little bit about my decision to be on Kindle Unlimited and we'll see how this works out because if you follow me on social media, you know my internet's been down um, for days. Now I think this is day three, day four maybe. So I'm recording these videos but I doubt they're going to be posted when I wanted them to be posted. Um, so we'll see what happens. So Encampment on Kindle Unlimited. That's crazy to me because my other books were not on Kindle Unlimited. They I released them wide. So you could get Soul Jumper and The Man Before You anywhere. It, you didn't have to be um, shopping only on Amazon. And so really quick, I'm not going to go into details about Kindle Unlimited too much but just so if there's people watching that don't know what it is it's a subscription program through Amazon I think you pay 10 bucks a month I have it I'm pretty sure it's 10 bucks a month um might be like 10.99 anyways you pay a monthly fee for it and then you get access to all the books that are in the Kindle Unlimited program. And so you can read a lot of stuff for free, which is awesome. And you can read some really good books and great authors in there. So you're just paying that 10 bucks a month and you can read all these books and you're not paying for those books on top of that. So that's kind of what Kindle Unlimited is. The cool thing about it which you don't have to have it to still get those books. And so if you're not on Kindle Unlimited, if you don't pay that subscription fee, um, you can still get on there and buy Encampment and have a paperback or have an ebook. But it kind of broadens your audience in a sense because there's a lot of people who do pay for Kindle Unlimited and that is the only way they're consuming um, books you know they don't really buy outside of that they just stick to their subscription so for me personally i do a little bit of both um i do pay for kindle unlimited and i read a lot of books there but if there's a book that i stumble upon or i see somebody post about a book and it sounds really good or something that i would like or i get a book recommended to me and it's not in Kindle Unlimited, I'll buy the book. I'm not I'm not opposed to buying an ebook or buying a paperback if I'm walking around Barnes and Noble and find something that I think I will really like, I will still purchase the book. The other thing I do, which I'm not sure if other people are like this or not, but if I read a book and it doesn't really matter if it's Kindle Unlimited or not, I should say if I read an ebook, if I read something on my Kindle, um, and I fall in love with it, I will buy the paperback because I want a physical copy. <laughs> and so, um, I'm sure there's other people like that that just read ebooks, but if there's something that like you really, really love, you want a physical copy of it. And so, um, that's kind of how I operate. But my decision to put Encampment in Kindle Unlimited, I thought about this a lot for months um, because it's really hard. It's a hard decision to make as an author, um, especially because the information is, in my opinion, on two extremes. 
And so you have authors who love Kindle Unlimited. They'll post about it on their blogs. They have YouTube videos about it. It works for them. All their books are there. They're making good money. And it's great. But then you have the other side where either they've never put a book there and they have researched it enough to know they're not going to like it and they're just like, that's not for me. I'm never doing it. Here's why. Or you have people that put books in and it didn't work out for them and they're like, never again. I pulled my books out after the 90 days and I was done with Kindle Unlimited. I'm never looking back. So for me, it was a hard decision to make because there's nobody who's like, like, yes, you can find the pros and cons of Kindle Unlimited. You can watch videos about it. You can read about it. Um, but there's no one, like, uh, an author that I've seen that is kind of in the middle, like, that gray area of, like, it's good, it's bad, here's this, this, you know? It's more of either they love it or they really hate it. And I finally got to the point where... I was like, I'm going to just have to make that decision for myself. I can research it all I want. I can read about it all I want. I can watch a million YouTube videos about it. But until I try it for my specific book, I'll probably never know how I really feel about it or if it works for me or not. And so ultimately, that's what made me decide to put Encampment in there um, because I want to see how it does. You, when you publish a book on Amazon, you have all the data there. Um, if you publish wide, you get reports from other places as well in terms of how many books you've sold, um, you know, what your royalties are, so you know what your profit is, all of that stuff. You have all that information. Um, so another reason I decided to do this was because I really wanted to compare Soul Jumper and The Man Before You and then Encampment on Kindle Unlimited. Am I making more money or more people seeing the book? Um, Kindle Unlimited has like a lending program. So are more eyes getting on the book basically? Um, and then obviously does that translate to higher profits? What does that look like? If it doesn't make a difference and I'm you know, distributing wide versus Kindle Unlimited and I don't really see a difference in how many books I sell um, or how many people read my books or a difference in the money that I'm making. I don't know what I'll do. Um, but we'll see once I have that information. The other thing I've seen a lot of authors do, and those of you that follow me on social media know I'm working on a series right now. It is a spin-off of The Man Before You. And so I've seen other authors where they will have a series and they'll offer their first one or two books in Kindle Unlimited. And then the next two they distribute wide. So people who are in Kindle Unlimited have to purchase those books if they want to finish the series. Um, I'm assuming that's more of like a marketing technique. Correct me if I'm wrong. But in my brain, it's like, okay, if I read a book, a first or one and two books in a series, I want to read book three, four, or five, however many are there. Um, and if you're already two books in, even if you got them for free through Kindle Unlimited, I feel like you're more likely to buy the rest of the books if you are enjoying that series. And so I'm sure some of that is just the way they're doing marketing and getting people to purchase those books that come along later in the series. And I've seen a few authors do that. I've seen authors put entire series in Kindle Unlimited. And so I, I just want to play with it and see what happens, see what happens. <laughs> and then whenever I'm getting the books in the series out, um, I think I'll have a better understanding of, am I gonna be a Kindle Unlimited person or not? Um, but I really just felt like I had to try it for myself to make that decision. And so we'll see. The other thing that really influenced Encampment being the first book I put in Kindle Unlimited 
comes from the fact that it's young adult fantasy. And so, with comparing my three books, it's going to be a little hard because there's three different genres. Um, Soul Jumper is young adult, paranormal, but really pushing like new adult, adult. They're a lot older. There's adult concepts in that book. Um, things like that. The Man Before You is an adult contemporary romance. And this one, Encampment, really is young adult. The main character is 16 years old. Um, you know, one of the side characters that you see a lot is only 12. And so it's a lot more young adult. There's not any like sexual scenes or content in there. I don't even allude to that in this book. And it's about witches, it's fantasy. And so I kind of also wanted that in Kindle Unlimited just to give young adults access to it, right? That's my target audience. That's who I wrote the book for. And so to me, if a teenager has Kindle Unlimited, they have that subscription service, um, maybe they're not buying a whole lot of books outside of that but they'll still have access to my book. And I could totally be off base with this, um, but that's another thing I really like to see is does putting it in Kindle Unlimited kind of expand who has access to the book? Um, because a lot of times, if you have a subscription service, you don't search outside of that. And so I'll, I'll be interested to see if that makes a difference or not. The other thing that I thought about with Encampment and Kindle Unlimited is the fact that the target audience is young adults. Young adults usually don't always have a lot of money. Um, and so if they themselves are paying for a subscription service or their parents are paying for a subscription service, um, again, giving them access to that book could help and make a difference um, in terms of how many people Encampment reaches. Also, I'm a teacher and <laughs> I did teach a lot of kids who were avid readers um, but oftentimes could not afford the books that they wanted and so they check them out from the library, um, you know, borrow them, buy them secondhand, whatever the case may be. I had a classroom library so I tried really hard at the beginning of the year to talk to kids about what are they reading, what are they interested in. Um, and either getting additional copies of stuff that we had in the library that was really popular or getting copies of stuff that the library didn't have, things like that. And oftentimes I would have kids who had a book they really, really wanted to read, but they couldn't afford it. Their parents couldn't afford it. And I'm not even talking about like crazy expensive books, you know, we're talking $10, $15, but to some people that's a lot of money. And so that's another thing I thought about a lot with Encampment because there was a few times where I had students talk about books in my classroom that they really wanted and if they had the money they would have bought them. And so the ebook option is a free option if they have the Kindle Unlimited service. I also lowered the price on Encampment. Um, that was for a couple reasons. Again, young adult audience, hopefully it makes a difference. I know it's not a huge difference. It's only a dollar cheaper on the ebook if you're not in Kindle Unlimited and a dollar cheaper on the paperback than Soul Jumper and The Man Before You. But if you're, you know, buying a paperback copy of something and then you pay shipping, maybe a dollar does make a difference. I don't know. I'm hoping it does. Um, kind of helps a little bit. And, you know, my other ebooks are $3.99, I think. This one's $2.99. I would have to verify that. Um, but, you know, hopefully, hopefully it makes a difference to, to especially kids, young adults who are trying to, you know, access this book. Don't know if it will, but we're, we're trying. Um, but yeah, I saw a ton of teenagers teaching that really wanted books that they just could not afford. And so if they weren't in my classroom library, I did try to get them for these kids. Um, oftentimes I do books as an incentive 
four kids that um, loved to read, but maybe were not the necessarily the best students. Um, and I mean, like, academically as far as grades. Um, not that they were bad kids. And that worked wonders for me. If I knew I had a kid that wanted a book or had mentioned a book or I heard about it, I taught English. <laughs> um, so we talked about books a lot. You know, there were times where we could use those books as an incentive and got kids a lot of books that way. And so I really think reading for young people is very important and something we should encourage and do everything we can to push. And so that's a little bit of also why I decided to put Encampment in Kindle Unlimited and just see, just see what happens, see if it makes a difference. Um, not just in who's reading my book, the number of people and how much money I'm making, but access, access whenever you're thinking about kids who may or may not have a job, um, may or may not have a lot of money, um, may or may not get money from their parents or guardians or whatever. So we'll see. Because I also know um, parents who would get their students Kindle Unlimited, but again, that, that was their books then. It's like, okay, if I'm paying the 10 bucks a month for you to do this, we're not buying books outside of this. Like you can find something there to read. So we'll see, we'll see if it makes a difference or not. Um, let me know again down below in the comments what your thoughts are on Kindle Unlimited. Do you use it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Um, if you're a reader, do you use it? And if you're an author, I'd love to hear kind of both sides and what people think about the Kindle Unlimited program. So that's that and it's release day. I know I said that at the beginning, but I'm so excited. So if you have questions about encampment, um, about getting your copy, anything like that, please let me know, reach out to me, follow me on Instagram. Um, I have a Facebook page, the whole nine yards. I would love to hear from you. Have an amazing week and I hopefully, fingers crossed, have my inter internet back soon and we can stop struggling over here. All right, remember to love yourself, believe in yourself. I hope you're doing all the things you want to be doing. Um, just keep pushing forward with your goals. You will get there. You are where you're supposed to be. All right, have a good week.